Hi children, it's Miss Tina again. I'm here to read you another story. This time it's The Night Before Easter. If you guys don't get to see this tonight, then maybe you'll see it tomorrow morning and hopefully by then someone will have come to visit you. Who's that? Is it the Easter Bunny? <gasps> Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. Look, what are they doing? They're all fast asleep. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Who's sleeping in this one? Look at the kitty cat there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out of the barn, the hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy bunny with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except the Easter bunny. Look at all the animals. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose. He jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. Ooh, look at all those goodies. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. Look, scared the kitty cat. His software was spotless his, from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure. Filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Wow, look at all the candy. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. Look, even the cat's playing with it. Just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookcase, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start, he wiggled his nose and then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. Look, the cat and the mouse are saying bye-bye. I read his note as he hop-hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. I hope you enjoyed that book and I hope the Easter Bunny leaves you something nice. Take care.